Hello there. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this episode we're going to be focusing on working around the nose and septum area. So using our alt drag combination we're going to add another section bringing the edge to the center. And then by pressing W or going to the modify drop down menu and selecting weld vertices we open the weld tool. And this allows us to merge control points together like so. And we do this when a section of the face appears to be too cluttered. This is where you can find the tool just here. I have it assigned to W and once you're done select OK and go back to edit form. So make some adjustments uh, around the nose remembering that we are trying to maintain tension in the lines. Um, and now we're going to begin with the nose creation. So select the two horizontal lines that sit below the tip of the nose and add some sections going up using the alt drag technique. trying to follow those contours. So make minor adjustments if necessary and repeat again. There we go. And try and picture how the features are shaped and match your lines up with the contours you are seeing. So a lot of minor adjustments and they're definitely necessary at this stage. Of course later on in the project we are going to move a lot of these because they'll be wrong but it's worth trying to get them in the right position. So now we want to add another section and begin to curve the right edge around the nostril. Um, so we're expanding it and then we're going to move it to the right. Um, and then we're going to add another section and start to think about how the surface of the nose will line up with the cheeks basically. So we're going to drag up. And now Group select the four edges on the cheek section that follow the shape of the nose and using the alt and the scale tool bring the surface right up against the side of the nose. Taking a moment to adjust. Then weld the loose vertex to the closest vertex like so. And now get back to modifying. So let's edit the vertices around the nose while aiming to keep tension in those lines. If you're struggling to uh, understand the idea of tension in the lines, think of it like a heavy rope hanging from a tree, blowing in a gentle breeze. There are no sharp curves, there are long curves that flow into one another. So just imagine a, a long heavy rope blowing in a breeze. And also take note when you edit a line or a vertex, it can affect not only the sections surrounding said line or vertex, but also the sections that touch the sections that surround the feature you're editing. Um, so it has a sort of like knock-on effect. Um, and it's it's not easily noted, but um, it's just worth worth knowing. Um, yeah. So now we are ready to link the surface on the nose to the one that surrounds it on the cheek. Um, so group the three edges on the nose like so and alt drag them to the right. And you're going to be welding the surfaces back together. So consider how they're going to line up and adjust them where needed. Um, so that one's going to line up with the, the one on the cheek corresponding. Um, yeah, it's uh, uh, this sort of adjustment is necessary. And we're going to drag out another section. And can you begin to see how they're going to line up? Um, it should it should be becoming more and more obvious. Um, but the reason why we uh, we do it as separate rather than doing a big sheet over and then like take cutting a hole out, um, it's much easier to control this way. Um, the the line that's like to the right of the nose that sort of follows the shape is very important when you're doing um, trying to make a face in infusion. You it's, it it's, it seems to be like the key line, I guess. Um, I've tried making surfaces different ways on faces and they don't always work. Um, so yeah, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to make sure these are all starting to look like they're gonna line up. And how's that looking? Right, so it's at this point where I made a mistake by creating too many surfaces, which I'll eventually delete, delete, and then return to here. So let me speed the error up for you. So the reason there's a problem is that the surface becomes too complicated around the nostril, hence why I spam the undo tool. 
and instead sort of this time we're going to um, add another section on the right and bridge the gap to the cheek so I'm just thinking about moving the whole thing but you know, instead we're going to grab that right edge and bridge the gap to the cheek so create a new section and we want to move those vertices on the nose until they match up with the one the vertices on the cheek um, so yeah using all the tools um, now let me just pause it here for a second notice while welding the points the surface has become sort of polyagonal so this tends to happen when you only have one vertex connecting two surfaces it's not a problem early on but it can be troublesome later in a project because sometimes the vertices are overlapped and you think you've welded them but you've actually missed them it's not an easy thing to fix when you have a hundred vertices or more and sometimes it, it just it happens when you try to seal a surface so that it can become solid I have a workaround for that but it's just a heads up um, but yeah continue to weld the vertices together like so and then so we're going to want to adjust a bunch more remember and you're trying to follow the features with each line sometimes it's easy like the edge of the nose sometimes not so easy like the center of the cheeks where there, there isn't any obvious lines to follow and now group select the lines on the nose uh, and drag up a new section to line up with the cheek feature then you're going to want to pinch it and and then weld the two exposed vertices together to complete the surface that's good so the rest of this episode is sped up 400 percent hopefully slow enough that you can follow it but essentially you want to match the lines up with the features for example i'm curving the lines in a regular upwards parabola parabola over the cheeks because cheeks tend to have a curved ridge for someone with sullen cheeks you might curve downwards instead and working with curves vertically on a face curves that go sort of out from the face and then back towards the center emphasize height and then curves that sort of fade away from the center and fade away to the outside they sort of emphasize depth so lines are uh, like that are straight above the center of the lips and yet they fade off at the edge of the lips that's because it's it's more projected at the top of the lips than at the edge um that's it for this episode i hope that was helpful bye